Hey, what's going on? It's Clever Zodiambo, and today I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating differences between oil and acrylic paints. Now, there are differences ranging from the chemical makeup and the way these two types of paint are manufactured, but I'm going to focus on the visual or the physical differences, which is how they feel, how they look, how they mix. Now, just so you know, neither one of these is better than the other. It all varies mostly on the type of painting you're trying to create and on other factors that we'll get into in the next few minutes. The first difference is going to be the drying rate. Acrylic paints dry really quickly and by quickly I mean in less than five minutes after you apply them, sometimes even less than a minute depending on how thin the layer is. Oil paints on the other hand obviously dry really slow and the time that oil paints take to dry sometimes also varies with the colors. So generally lighter colors dry slower than darker colors but even those darker colors still take at least a day to completely dry. Now these drying rates are not exactly fixed. There are things that you can add to these types of paints to make them dry faster or slower depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now with acrylics there are additives called retarders. Now what a retarder does to acrylic paints is make acrylic dry maybe two to three times slower than it normally would. Oil paints on the other hand dry really slow so if you want your oil painting to dry faster than normal there are also additives that you can add to make that happen. These are called secatives. The most common of which is Liquitex by Winston Newton and it makes the paint dry slower maybe by 50%. So that happens to be the most glaring difference between these two types of paint the drying rate and it's also going to affect the second difference which in this case is going to be the type of painting you're trying to create. There are types of paintings called vector paintings whereby the edges between the colors or between the shades are not completely blended in so it's very clear where one color ends and where the other begins. A vector painting is something like say the Obama poster from 2008. If you look at this artwork it's very clear where the black ends and where the red begins and so it's not like you have this smooth transition worked out between these two colors. Now if you want to achieve something like that then acrylic is your medium. When you're making vector paintings or when you're making paintings of this kind whereby you don't have to blend in different colors or things don't have to look as real or as cloudy as they look in real life then the advantage that acrylic gives you here given its first attribute we mentioned which was how fast it dries is that by the time you apply the second color the first color is already dry so it doesn't interfere with how the second color looks. Oil on the other hand won't be dry for the next day so if you're trying to apply the black on top of it then you're going to have this situation where parts of the black mixes with parts of the red which is ideal if you're trying to create this cloudy shadows between darks and lights. Now the third difference is something called light fastness. I don't know why it's called light fastness by the way but what it basically means is the tendency of the colors to change over time. When oil paints are being made they use something called a binder which is what binds the pigment together and the binder in this case is normally linseed oil. Linseed oil over time turns yellow and so the color of the painting sort of becomes yellow but even with those classical paintings it's quite easy to fix because when the linseed oil rises to the surface it's easy to wash it out with a special type of thinner but oil paints manufactured in modern day have this issue sorted out so you won't have this situation whereby oil paints turn yellow over time acrylics also do have a binder but their binder is water which is colorless so over time nothing changes in terms of how the surface looks anyway the fourth difference in these two types of paint is going to be the appearance when dry now acrylic paint it's generally dry shiny not as reflectively as say glass would look like but you can still see a subtle tinge of reflection and they also dry uniformly so this doesn't vary with the amount of layers you use or the type of acrylic paint you use or however long a painting takes you when the acrylic painting dries it's going to dry uniformly oil paints on the other hand vary from brand to brand color to color and from the amount of layers you use in different sections of the painting. Now this has to do with the chemical makeup of the paint because if you're painting layers for instance the first layers you apply on your canvas are going to have the pigment sinking into the primer or into the canvas and so any subsequent layers you apply on top won't be able to get to the canvas because there's a layer that blocks them from doing so and therefore the linseed oil that again is the binder that makes this paint oil paint is going to dry on top of the first layer and so you have this situation sometimes in oil paintings whereby parts of it are dull and other parts are quite reflective or quite glossy but there's an easy fix for this which is varnishing an oil painting if you varnish an oil painting then everything appears uniform and so you don't have to deal with these 
unevenness in appearance. Now just one extra tip when it comes to varnishing an oil painting, once you varnish it, you cannot paint on top of the varnish, then leave it as it is. Because the oil paint on top of the varnish won't be as shiny as the varnish itself. And so if you happen to paint on top of a varnished oil painting, it's important that you apply another layer of varnish, either on top of that part that you've painted on, or on the entire painting if necessary. The fifth difference is something called translucent glazes or translucent layers. If you begin your paintings with an underpainting, which is a painting that you first create and let it dry, then paint your final layers on top of it then oil paint is the way to go sometimes when you're trying to apply your first translucent glaze or coat you may want to change the color that you're using or you may even want to rub off some parts of it with oil paints it's easy to do this because they take so long to dry that you can apply a translucent coat get rid of all of it then start over even the next day acrylic paints on the other hand give you less than five minutes to do it now the other difference is the mixing or the thinning agents of these two types of paint oil paints especially when they come from the tube are sometimes too thick to mix together and so you need to add something to make it a bit more viscous or to make it easier to mix this agent in oil paints is going to be linseed oil but if you're trying to do what i just mentioned in the previous point which was to create a translucent layer then you need to add something called a solvent which could be something like kerosene or turpentine which are toxic by the way so if you're using these two always have really good ventilation but there are other alternatives that are healthy like gems or, or tapenoid for acrylic paints you don't need a thinning agent for them but if you needed one it would be water but just to repeat my previous point acrylics dry so fast that trying to apply a translucent layer is kind of pointless so if this is what you're trying to go for then oil is your medium of choice the seventh difference is going to be the painting surfaces oil paints are specialized for canvas or for lining acrylics on the other hand stick to many more surfaces so you can apply acrylics on glass on wood on plaster but if you want to make a painting on canvas then you can use either acrylic or oil the eighth difference is the ability to withstand different weather conditions so if you're making a painting at a place where you think it's going to be bombarded by rain or sun these are things that don't affect acrylic paints as much as they affect oil paints so if you're making a painting say for your living room or for an office then both oil and acrylics are ideal but if it's something that's going to be outside in harsh weather conditions then by all means do not use oil paints for this the ninth difference is the ease of cleaning brushes because of how quickly and how sticky acrylic paints dry, if you don't clean your brushes immediately, you're going to damage them. And this means when you're painting with acrylics, you should place your brushes in a plate or a can of water so that the bristles don't get stuck to one another. But with oil paints, in a couple of days time, you can come back and just wipe your brushes with kerosene or whatever solvent you're using and still have them in the condition that they were before. Anyway, I hope this was enlightening or interesting and I hope you enjoyed the video. In which case, you can like and subscribe subscribe for more such content in future that's a blackout by the way so i'm just going to finish it in this blackout <laughs> okay if you have any questions about oil painting or about art in general just leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you either way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video hopefully there won't be a blackout so you'll see me as well